it Netflix? No! Is it HBO? No! Is it Disney? No! Is it Apple TV? No! Then it must be... Tell them they're streaming. Welcome to Tell Them They're Streaming. Hey, my name is Robert and sitting beside me is a strained comedian who came up with a new kind of reality show where two people meet at dusk and get married at dawn. It's called Married at First Light. This is yeah. Richie. I do. Good acre. Hey, Richie. How are you and how's your week been? I am nothing but an innovator, you know what I mean? I, 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 I'm just, I, I, I use my inner ingenuity and yeah, look, I'm, I'm going to keep doing these uh, Married at First Sight spin-offs and, and, and until I'm told not to. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, look, uh, you know, things are going, going all right, you know, just, uh, just, just been uh, chilling. I, look, I, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got a new haircut. Look, look, look at that haircut. Look at Look at this! Look, look at this new throw. So I, I got, I got rid of the messy look. Well, it's kind of messy still. But, so what, you know. what? What happened? They, they did the sides but left the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, do you want it still messy at the top? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. Well, let's, let's have it still messy at the top. A little, little bit messy, you know. I, I've got to have some personality in my hair. You know what I mean? Has it got, got a name? Have... Huh? Has it got a name? Your haircut? Uh, um, um. um uh, the 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 Travis Bickle light. <laughs> that's what that's what that is. Um, the the uh, the sometimes taxi driver. Are you gonna go the full Travis Bickle next time? Yeah, yeah and maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> In haircut only. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, in haircut only. Uh, but yeah, yeah. And, no, no, it was cool. I went down there, like it was fully, fully Kiwi owned to the point where you know, there's this big stocky dude, uh, you know, manning the, uh, you know, kind of the, you know, kind of the, the reception, the desk there. And uh, I realized uh, I went to, you know, I went to school with them because, of course, I did. I know everybody, apparently. And, uh, and uh yeah and of course the you know when when you know he was chilling of course c because he's he's a big huge island like you know mary islander he of course he's got a voice like an angel he was singing <laughs> um, of course he do that's just it's a rite of passage you yeah so he's, he's a local dude then if you went to school with him yeah well he went to d bay yeah deception bay um so did you talk sport because uh oh yeah man yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of them I, like the, there, there were even there, there, there were people waiting, but like every every like, and there was just but there was only one person sort of working. I was just working on me, and the other other guys were just watching him work on me, and then like just hovering around me like a NASA mission, and uh, just going you know, just watching him work, and then just talking about basketball and uh, and the Warriors. So rugby league, rugby league, happy rugby league, by the way, happy rugby league to you and your family. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Roy and HG. Um, yeah. And you're obviously wearing the T-shirt today in... In, in honour of my antidote, yeah. In your <laughs> honour of your Kiwi barber. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or hairdresser. Um, Is it hairdresser or barber? I don't, I don't know the right terminology. Oh, well, I, well it, 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 I think it's... It was a bar, but it was called. It's called. Actually, I can give the name. It was called the Barb and Whistle, which sounds like a barber and a pub. It does. It sounds. Like, it definitely sounds like a pub. It sounds like back in the old days. Like I played Red Dead Redemption. You go into a pub, and you can get a feed. You get somewhere to stay, and you can get your hair cut. Yeah, maybe they're trying to bring that back. Maybe. He did ask if I drink beer. And I said, yeah, but he, he, then he didn't, he, I thought, I thought the follow-up question was, would, would, be, you like would you like one? But then I realized it was 10 o'clock in the morning, so probably not. <laughs> well, the banks are open somewhere. Yeah. All righty. Well, this week we had a look at the film Dead Sexy from 2018. Uh, and the synopsis is a comedy, meet Amber, Brandy and Cassie. 
These girls are about to encounter a paranormal force that is going to make them question the need for the opposite sex. Uh, it's directed by a bloke called Brian Newell. Uh, and I, the other thing I could find that he did was Maverick Theatre's Santa Claus Conquers the Martians in 2020. You got any other information about Brian Newell? Richie. I, I, was just, I, I just saw that he did like a like a it was like only like a 10 minute short film uh it was like yeah it was like uh but yeah other than that it's just like all the only thing to his name is just dead the, the, the dead sexy movie uh so if you go brian newell and then it just says dead sexy dead sexy and then oh yeah hide hide or seek which goes for 19 minutes from 2021 <laughs> well, nineteen minutes of hide and seek. That's not a great game. Well, it says hide or seek, so funny. Oh, hide or seek. Well, it is called different things, like hide and go seek. That's also oh, known. Yeah. Maybe it's a. Oh you know, yeah, maybe it is hide. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, you're either hiding or seeking. You can't do mm. both. Yeah, so maybe it is hide or seek. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. but yeah, 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 like the twenty, yeah. 20 minutes of hot, yeah, that, that does sound like a board, pretty boring. Uh, <laughs> there, must, there has to be a catch to it, but yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like, his, his version of Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, that sounds alright. Yeah, I'll give it a watch. Yeah. Um, the writer is Rex Riffle. That's uh, a good name. And it's, this, this is the only thing he's ever done, so hopefully he'll oh, write. Look, I mean... You know, I'm sure he makes his parents proud. Uh, you know, I'm sure <laughs> he, he, you know, he, he might have. Uh, I don't know. He, um, he might have got an apprenticeship somewhere. Uh, he might have. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, he he might have excelled in the track and field. <laughs> I I I think possibly he did. I I, I yeah. believe I believe he's a big track and field uh, athlete. I mean, by by the, by the sound of his name, I bet he's uh, wrangled up some crocodiles, <laughs> even though he's a, probably an American. Um, to be alligators. So that, that 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 would be that'd be a a feat in itself to wrangle up crocodiles in America, but you know. Now there <laughs> apparently there are some crocodiles like on the very southern tip of America. Okay. Apparently, according yeah. to Billy Connolly, anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he's who I go to for all my geography questions. No, oh, yeah, yeah, I do too. The cast is Alexandra Corin Johnson. Uh, she did a film called The Big Day in 2020. Uh, Jacques Verne. She I think did it's a... Jackie. It? I could be I Jackie. Jackie. <laughs> I, I thought I thought she could have been French. That's why I've gone to Jacques. Oh, could the spelling could be French? Yeah. Um, she was in a film called The Surprise Visit from 2022. She was also in Fear Street, uh, part one, which is a RL uh, more it was a, a RL Stein based on RL Stein books, but they're more adult. They're a Netflix uh, series of movies. I've seen part one, but I haven't seen part, I've seen part one, but I haven't seen part two or three. But, oh, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> Check them out. Greta Garland was in uh. G Jan Quadrant Vincent, 16, uh, in 2018. Susan Stokes was in Justice for All, 2018. I thought that was a Metallica album, but anyway. Yeah, it's a good, good album, actually. Yeah. It got one on it, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, and Sh Shannon Rose, and she was in Hit Girls from 2012. Why did I go 2020 12? Just yeah, 2012. Okay. Isn't that the, 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 the spin-off of that character from kick -Ass? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All righty. Let's get into some fun time. This is Film Chat. Film Chat. A group, a group of female friends meet at their jobs, and the place where they work is Pirate's Booty. I guess it's like a... I don't know, I'm going to do another Australian reference here. You know, kind of like Dracula's on the Gold Coast. You know, like Dracula's on the Gold Coast is basically just a a a, a, a vampire themed restaurant. Although you know, without this, you know, this doesn't have a show necessarily. 
but mm. then it's just a pirate themed restaurant. Yes, with a bunch of um, horny people in it. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I do they serve like piratey type of food and like drink? Yeah. Like, do you get mead to drink and? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, they got maggots in their uh, in their in their soup. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what yeah. I imagine pirates would eat. I'm not really too sure, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, they are, as you said, they are waitresses dressed up in a pirate style costumes. Um, they all chat about who likes the most attention. There was this whole beginning bit about. How so and so likes the most attention, and so and so likes the most attention. Uh, Amber, she wants to marry a doctor, so she's got her life all planned out. Marry a doctor, couple of kids, a dog, nice home. That's where she wants to be. Well, they, they keep calling the oh, oh, the plan, the plan. Like, it was like there was a, like a secret thing. I got the plan. So you could just you know like like it was like this the the like this like it was like this. Like, but it was like it was this unique thing just to oh we've got to have the plan i was like i'm i'm sure that's like you know it's not uncommon to want to marry a doctor and have a white pick of friends and maybe and the stuff it's like, but like it but it was like by calling it the plan it makes it sound like it's, you know, it's like nefarious mm. what do you think? The, the plan the what cunning if, what if the plan doesn't work it's like you what you just you, it's on, you just want to have live a normal life, like you just want like the cliche life, like a lot of people. <laughs> like that's not a plan. That's a very boring plan. I mean, I have a plan, and that is to marry a supermodel. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. How, how are you going with it? Not working out well at the moment, but you know, huh. give it a good old hard try, as my dad always says. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We meet. We meet Dawn, who is the new hostess. I wonder how she got. How, you know, how do you reckon she got the job? She is she, is she smart or uh, does she know well, what is she I, hostess? Is she a good hostess? Yes, yes. I don't know what to say. Uh, yes, I. I the, <laughs> the person that she replaced was Dusk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Apparently Dawn gets up really early in the morning. <laughs> I've got a million of these. I'll stop now. <laughs> it just dawned on me how silly these jokes would be. Um, Amber is set to look after her late aunt's house until it is sold. We see a vision of burglars breaking into the into said house. A ghostly present scared them out of the house. All right. So we've got this house. Yeah. Amber's aunt's house. Yeah. Uh, we can tell already that it's haunted. Um, and so Amber and her two friends go to check out the house. And they love it. They love the decor. They love the furniture. They love the space. They love the bedrooms. They're all in for it. Though, unfortunately, Amber's friends go out, leaving her alone. They do plan to come back. Uh, and I don't think that's till the next day anyway. So in a weird, creepy sort of scene, Amber tries on her aunt's nighty. Yeah. And goes to bed. Well, we, we we should mention that there's another person. There's like the, the transgender woman named Bunny that's in there as well. Uh, yeah, she's coming up later, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, 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 in the movie, we've already met her at the restaurant. Uh, oh, yeah. But yeah, she hasn't come to the house yet. Uh, she kind of gets, uh, this is Amber, after she's gone to bed, she kind of gets sexy haunted in the morning, but she thinks yeah. the house has just got good energy. Yeah that's, a, yeah, yeah. that's about as good as I can say what happened. Sexy haunted, yes. Sexy yeah. haunted. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Back at work, Amber talks about her haunting to the others. Cabin. I don't really know how to describe it. It was almost like there was a ghost in the house with me. Or something. Oh my gosh. Did it hurt you? No. There's this warm energy all around me. And I had the most amazing dream. 
Brandy, Bunny, Dale, Cassie, Lawrence, and Amber all go back to the house after hearing what sort of haunting Amber got. Bunny and Cassie, <laughs> sorry, go on. I don't know. It's just weird. Like, I just, I understand. Like, you know, because I guess they assume that the ghost. I mean, we'll, we'll come into it later. They guess they assume that the ghost is a, you know, is a dude, right? And so, you know, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, uh, they will come there. But like, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why would the guy, guys be keen? I, I, and especially because the guys are keen on the, you know, and, you know, the, the women. Why? I, 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 do they want to just see their their their, their women like <laughs> have sex with ghosts? Like, I, why, I, I think they, they were there more to protect the women from the ghost. I think okay. they they were trying to do the macho thing because you know they wanted to be liked by the women, uh, okay. and so they're doing the macho thing to protect. Uh, the ghost, but we do know, we do believe the ghost is the lover of the aunts, uh, her only true yeah. love, uh, uh, passed away in the house. So the aunt didn't, the aunt passed away somewhere else, but the true love did. Uh, well, so well, one of the guys is, isn't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily like that one that, you know, he, 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 he's, he just kind of gets cornered by, uh, was it, uh, uh, who, who's the chick that like you know is in, in the kinky stuff? So, uh, <laughs> um, Brandy. Brand, Brandy. He gets caught, and like he, she, he, she keeps wanting him, him to spank her ass, spank her ass, <laughs> and, and he, and he goes, he gets, he's going no, but, but I, 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 you know, I, I guess like you know. In, in, in his character in this movie, he has to kind of be, he has to kind of join. I don't know. <laughs> he, he, he could just kind of keep a distance, but, you know, why not? She's hot. Bunny and Cassie are enjoying the ghost. Though it runs out on Bunny after finding out she is a man. Yes. Here's our first uh, joke about uh, Bunny actually being a man, not a woman. So, yeah. Okay. So this is where I'll, I'll sort of, you know, saluting to you before and uh, how it fits character because yeah, it it runs out on uh, and then uh, you know, obviously as you would, you get you know, you kind of get pissed off. It's like, oh well, you know, there's uh, this ghost, a bit not very progressive, a bit of a bit of a transphobe, probably uh, Tra you know, transphobe um, ghost, bit of a transphobe ghost, um, uh, uh, you know, a bit bit of a you know. Uh, I, I, you know, not really, uh, you know, not really forward thinking, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't, and, uh, like, and so, 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 you know, she, she sort of leaves in a half and then she's basically, you know, she, she's basically, that's it basically for the whole movie, <laughs> so, <laughs> mostly. It's like, okay, she's not a, so okay, all right, oh, like, yeah, <laughs> that, that's the thing. It's like, oh, okay, you know, she's not important to the movie anymore. She's a dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, like, you know, I don't care if she's transgender. She's hot. She and and, and she's probably the funniest person in the movie. <laughs> she's good. Like, I mean, we do we do see her in the restaurant again later on, but yeah, apart from I, I that, know, but like like her her role is significantly diminished. Yeah, after that part. Um, I've also I've, one thing we forgot to mention is like at the start, like, it was sort of a joke. There's like one one of the girls was getting like you know right at the start, the girls some girls getting a makeup done, like she gets like. The joke is she's getting too much makeup done, and then they're like, "Ah," oh. and like, "Thanks," and then, like, but then that sort of sort of joke is like, "Ah, oh, no," but like they're acting like you know, like she's like, like, <laughs> like hideous. But it's like it's, when you look at her, she doesn't have like a lot of makeup on. It's just so looks like, like the... yeah, it looks like she's just overdone it. That's all, and that's it. Yeah, but that, so they're acting like that she caked herself, and it's, just, it's, not, it's not like shakes the clown. <laughs> but I realized it could have made, maybe said, you know, Pennywise, but I just chose to date my reference. Shakes the clown is a uh, Bobcat Goldthwait movie in the nineties. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah. the boys check out the backyard. Um, Dale keeps on getting hit by a brick or something or other. 
And then then he gets uh, pushed into oh no, he, the... and he gets he get he get, he gets getting hit by a pine cone. <laughs> oh that's right, a pine cone. That's right. Um and then he gets pushed into the pool uh by the ghost and Dale um Dale pulls Lawrence in without thinking without realizing it was Lawrence. He thought it was the ghost and Lawrence goes in too. So two dudes in the pool, basically. Yeah. Amber it... sorry, go on. Is this about before but before that 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 they're, they're like, you know, they agree it's like okay you know okay go, you know you, you girls stay here you guys go in and one of the you know one of the guys is uh brandy you know girl and then one of the, one of the, the genuine moments i laughed out loud at was uh you know the go again and then uh and then, and then you know like you just hear, you just hear one of those go are you cupping my balls <laughs> <laughs> and he's like yeah, yeah sorry for that but it was like uh but yeah yeah uh but yeah, Amber, yeah, yeah. Amber yeah, sees yeah. proof that the ghost is real by moving objects on the in the kitchen. Alrighty, now Bunny, Dale, and Lawrence all leave the house. So Dale and Lawrence's are the dudes. Uh, Bunny, the transgender chick, uh, they all leave, so they're not in the house anymore. Brandy, Cassie, and Amber all get haunted that night. Sexy haunted. <laughs> Brandy, Cassie, and Amber get the idea to invite all their friends over so they can all get haunted too. Yeah. They have a pool party. Brandy, Cassie, and Amber have all changed, and now Dale, Lawrence, and Ryan show interest in them after the pool party. They mm. they're sort of like, yeah, I think we've had enough of the ghosts now, but you know. The boys. We, had, we had, <laughs> hadn't mentioned Ryan before. Ryan's, I think, a bit of the boss of the the pirate booty place. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting. It's a typical, a typical jealous people. Who, you know, oh, look, I wasn't interested in you before, but now someone else taking take an interest in you. I, I, I will. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm now interested in you. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, I'm interested. You know, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. So, 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 you know, my, my dog sees some, some, you know, my, the other dog here that's eating something. She's not really interested in, in it at first, but if she sees other dog eating stuff, oh, now I want it. Now, fuck it, go away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cassie goes on a date with Ryan and Amber goes on a date with Dale. Yeah. But now, the ghost gets jealous and shows its disapproval with the three friends. They realize the ghost can leave the house. This means the three friends are in trouble anywhere they go. Amber, they go back to the restaurant. They're working, but Amber secretly goes to the house to talk with the ghost. The others, uh, the others work out where she has gone and they go after her and to the house. Amber is being attacked by the ghost. In fear, she tells the ghost that she will always love it. The ghost stops all the throwing of stuff and all that sort of stuff going on to uh, to Amber. The ghost lets them leave. The house is then sold to Dawn. And the very ending is as we find out the ghost is a female all along. So... Plugs, no, not plugs and stuff. A bit early plugs for that. Well, that's a short podcast. Yes. Uh, <laughs> ratings, reports, thoughts. I don't know. Uh, retorts. I feel like you went through that really quickly, uh, but there's nothing much to say, really. It's a soft girl born with um, not much plot uh, to go on. Uh, even though, like the real estate at the, at the end didn't look really official. Like you see that sign the real estate it was just it was weird. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um Yeah, I yeah. didn't even think the real estate agent looks really like a real estate agent either. No, no, no. Just, no. just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah. Like, um I I I I, I I feel like this is just, uh, I don't know, I feel like Brian Newell's just very horny and he made a horny movie 
And um, yeah, look, look. Uh, Did you watch through the credits? I watched some of them. Like they get like the like, spitting out the water and yeah, they had like little outtakes and they had um, Bunny being made up to look like a woman and I, all. That. I, I will, yeah. I will say, like, she 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 does really good, like, woman's voice, and then, like, when she's like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she, she was the best part in the movie, and then they just take took her out of it because she's like, you know, we, we, we can't have the, the ghost, you know, have relations with you because you're a dude. <laughs> you were born a guy. Uh, you were born with it. Anyway, uh, and I will... <laughs> uh, yeah, like there's not much here. I I had <laughs> had fun watching it, I guess. Uh, I I don't take that out of you know. I, yeah, but I had fun watching it because it was silly. Uh, but there's not much here. Uh, not much of a plot, and they're up right until right, sort of right at the end when the ghost turns it turns jealous. So I don't know. As an overall movie, I'll go two. As a as a two movie, I'll go three. I think I would have enjoyed it more because I was jotting stuff down while watching it. Um, and sometimes you'd have to pause so I could catch up with the writing and then I'd play again and blah, blah, blah. Um, but if I could have just watched it as a movie, I think I might have enjoyed it more. Um, yeah, it was a bit of fun. The comedy wasn't, there wasn't a lot of comedy apart from the obviously physical comedy of stuff. Um but yeah, it was it was what it was. It's definitely a tubey film. I give it uh, I'll give it two out of tubey five, uh, and I'll give it a three and a half uh, out of no. Yeah, no, hang on, no, I stuffed that up, didn't I? Two out of five is the normal score, and three and a half tubey score uh, for uh, the tubey score. Yeah, I'm yeah. going great. I'm saying words. They're coming out of my mouth. They're not going necessarily in the right order, but who cares? We can all have words go in different orders. Look, I'm going to try one now. Uh, curtain light. You know, doesn't mean anything, but they're words coming out of my mouth. You want to have a go, Richie? Um, TV dog. TV dog. Uh, this is your. I feel like you're playing more. What could I see? <laughs> I feel like I'm playing I Spy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, okay. Uh, n n n uh sp spaghetti shoe. <laughs> that, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I, I actually think you're the winner. It's time to let's oh. get quizzical. Let's get quizzical. Quizzical. I want to get quizzical. Let's get a quizzical. Let me hear your quizzies talk. Quizzy talk. Let me quiz talk. <laughs> Quizzies. So I sort of suggest to you out there that I'm not, I, I do have a quiz, but I'm not going to tell you the link to well, that that's, that connects to all these uh, things. But all, all, all I'll say is just you got to guess the Rotten Tomato score for these things, and I'll tell you what connects these movies. At the end. At the end, yes. Because <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Here we go. When I get, you know, you'd think I'd have it up. Anyway, cool. So, what... What do you think the Rotten Tomato score would be for Eyes Wide Shut, the Stanley Kubrick of the film? Look, it wasn't it wasn't like one of his best films. If any, I think it's quite often on the bottom of the list of favorite films, but it is Stanley Kubrick, so the score's gonna be high. Um I am going to say uh. Uh, above 50, uh, and I will say 72%. Wow, you were quite close for your first attempt. So, yes, above 50, it's 76. Whoa, that is a lot closer than I thought. But, yeah, awesome. All right. Now, the next one, 
What is the Rotten Tomato score for the David Cronenberg classic, a Videodrome? Videodrome, that's a cult classic. Um, a lot of people love got a lot of love for that film, but it never really made it theatrically massive. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm going to say it's above 50, um, but I'm going to say it's a little bit lower than 76. So I'm going to say it's about... 62. 80. 80. There you go. Prove me totally wrong. All right. Wow. Well, you might just have to guess in this one because I'm not too familiar with this film, but it came out in 28. The next one is The Hunger. Uh, no games attached, just, just The Hunger? The Hunger. <laughs> um, All righty. Well, yeah, you can't go blind here. Yeah. <laughs> That one was under 50, and that was a pretty strong 42. 56, so not too bad. Okay. You, you can't go that too bad. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. Now, uh, next one, Je- the, the, Megan, uh, the Megan Fox, uh, Amanda Seyfried movie, Jennifer's Body, the Abel Cody movie. What? What's the what's rom- romantic? Romantic. What's the Rotten Tomatoes score? Or tomatoes? 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 What's, Tomato, what was the score? Tomatoes? Potatoes? Uh, yeah. I reckon it was above 50. 50. I'm going to say it is. I'm going to give it a 64. 46. Well, under 50. Yeah. Got both those wrong then. All right. Um. All right, next one is uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, the one with Keanu Reeves in it. Uh, this movie has love hate for it. Some people hate it, some people love it. So it's going to be a bit of a mixture. Uh, I, I believe it's going to be above 50. It had Anthony Hopkins in it. So it's going to have to be above 50. I think that's the rule. Uh, I'm going to say 68. Close. 78. Oh, okay. 10 off. All right. Cool. I don't know if you've heard this movie. Uh, I hadn't until I looked it up. Uh, so you might have to do a blind thing again. The Love Witch. The Wild Witch, did you say? The Love Witch. Oh, The Love Witch. Ah, different movie. Uh, I. That's over 50, but it's only 53. Believe it or not, I guess because only uh, like 100 or so people reviewed this, 95. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I uh, think two people reviewed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. uh, next up, uh, the Darren Aronofsky film, Black Swan. Oh, that one's got to be pretty high. Um, oh, it's definitely over 50. Um, I'm giving that one... 78. Close again, close ish. 85. All right, cool. Cool. All You'll right. be high. All right. Uh, next one the Christian Bale classic American Psycho. Above 50, certainly. And I will see, I will say 83. 68. What? Yeah. What? You kidding? Yeah, yeah no. that's a classic. That's like that's like in one thousand and one movies you see before you die, and it's sixty two or whatever you said. Sixty eight. Sixty eight. Sixty eight. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. No wonder Christian Bale got cranky. Yeah. Uh. All right. The next one, the Denis Villeneuve movie, uh, with Jake Gyllenhaal, Enemy. Uh, above fifty. I'm going to say 71. You got it right in the money. Whoa, yes. Whoa, that's pretty good. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Yeah, and the last one, and I believe you saw this because I think you you had to, yeah, you know, it was, took a, took a, you had to, you were trying to search for this. Um, uh, the next, the last one is the cat people. Uh, yeah, there's the cat people I think you're thinking of is 
does do you have you got the date there because there's two different cat people the older one whatever it is the the black and white one yeah okay um well that was quite successful and quite liked uh so i'll say above 50 and i will say 74 63 63 so yeah are you ready to you know, see what links these movies yep yep quite keen I, could i guess what i've got no idea but can i guess yeah um they're all linked to horror producers no yeah. it was it was on a list that this per on, on screen rant, this person deemed the top ten sexiest horror movies. That's that's not cat people. It must be the new cat people then. Maybe the new cat people. Okay, I can't remember. We, yeah, yeah. There must be the newer cat people with David Bowie doing the theme song. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. American Psycho, sexy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, it looks good. Sexy. Video drone, sexy. Okay. <laughs> All I can think about is I think most of those films have got nudity in it, and that's about all. I guess that's why. I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> Sexy horror film. Anyway. <laughs> I needed to try and find, you know, something that to do with our kind, and you know, to, to, to do with, you know, what well, the movie we did. And, yeah, I was like, I wonder if there's any, like, you know, uh, you know, I don't know raunchy horror films that I can do. And I'm like, I found this list and it was intriguing. So, yeah. Very yeah. good. Very good. Cool. All right. Now it's time to uh, spinny that wheelie. So we have to recap what we've got here. We have, we have action. Comedy, drama, sci-fi slash fantasy. For those who have a slash fantasy, I'm doing the joke again. He's doing it again. I'm not going to stop. You can't stop me. Just going to keep keep doing it. Oh, you know. You're what? crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy. Man. When will he stop? Anyway, uh, thriller, western, suggestions from website, Can't Style Blue 2. It's not the website's not called Cast Blue Two. It's the second one of those anyway. And streamers picks. Hmm. So, are you ready for me to spin for I... my life, or, or just not my life really, just for this episode? Yeah, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. No, I don't want you to do that either, because then there's not a next episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you could probably, you know, I mean, you know, you could find another. Person in a wheelchair that lives in Brisbane, uh, and whose name's Richie, who's got a cool haircut. As handsome uh, as you? <laughs> probably not, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. Uh, anyway, I uh, don't know why you'd really want to find a needle in a haystack unless you're, you know, in a crime scene and you're looking for well, anyway. Well, a, 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 a needle. A sewing needle has killed somebody. Is this what you're suggesting? Yeah, yeah, or, or, yeah. Or, or maybe like a farm is a drug user and he's hidden his, his, his uh, drugs in a haystack. <laughs> no, yeah. So, anyway, cool. All right. Three, two, one. Spinny, spin, spin. Spinny. Spin, spin, spin. spin oh, spin. your favorite. Spinny, oh my god, it's a sci fi slash fantasy. Hell yeah! <laughs> so, yes, I mean, look, I wouldn't mind if it's a 50 of 500 uh, mph storm, miles per hour storm, but I really want Dr. Alien. All right, can can you introduce them again for me? So, it's 500 mph storm, miles per hour storm from 2013. And Doctor Alien from the Year of Our Lord and the Year of the uh, the great the greatest year in human existence, nineteen eighty nine. They call me Doctor Alien. Nineteen eighty nine, hey, best year ever. Yeah, I heard it was. Oh, I don't want to give away how old I am. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> cool. 
<laughs> all right, cool. Here, 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 here. All right, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's spinny. Come on, Doctor, Doctor Alien, Doctor Alien, Doctor, Doctor. No. Five hundred. Whatever, whatever's <laughs> miles per hour storm. Let's have a look if it's there. Because <laughs> if it's not there, we got to do Doctor Alien then. Yeah. So, hang on. Five hundred. It's there. It's there. Tell us about it, Richie. I will. Oh, it's an asylum film. Great. Quality. In this tale of man versus nature, one man must save his family after an experiment gone wrong and leaches deadly hurricanes capable of destroying America. Uh, directed by Daniel Lusco and starring Casper Van Dien, I know who that is, <laughs> from Starship Troopers <laughs> and a few other movies, and Michael Beach. Wow, that's good. That's... Yeah, good. Great. Can't wait to do it next week. Cool. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. All right. All righty. Now time for plugs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the part where we do plugs and stuff. Not, yeah. not earlier on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, hit us up on Facebook. Tell them they're streaming. And, you know, if you, if you, yeah, give us a like. Um, you know, give us a... And give us a share. Give us, a, you know, if you want a message, give a suggestion of what you want to see on the wheel. Obviously, it has to be sort of to be horrific. It can't, uh, you know, if you're like, hey, hey, can can you can you please watch, um, uh, uh you know, uh, everything everywhere all at once? I'll be like, no, that's got Oscar contention. No way. Uh, uh, but uh. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, but and then we we we've got you. You know, we're, we're on YouTube. This is this is where you where you're probably going to be watching us on the on, on the YouTubes. So you know, get, get, give us a like if you haven't subscribed. Why haven't you? That's a bit rude. Just you know, but do it. Just just, just you know, hit, hit subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification so you know when we've uploaded a new episode, which will be every Tuesday or Tuesday. So I cleverly. Put a wordplay there, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've got a Gmail account again. You can e- e- email us or Gmail us <laughs> at uh, at uh, tell them they're streaming at gmail dot com dot au or just dot com just dot com. Oh yeah, you see, I knew stuff, and uh, <laughs> and then yeah, just uh, suggest stuff there, and uh, yeah, and as for, as far as I go, uh, you can find me on the Movie Hero Network doing uh, my wrestling podcast, Only Marks. Um, you can find me with the uh, yeah, uh, friends Jacob Barber, uh, John John Pierce Owens, and Austin Pierce Howe, and you can find yeah, find me doing uh. uh Tier Ranker and uh, Tournament Fights. Uh, you can find me doing wrestling trivia on Combat Wrestling Trivia on Chris Cass's Twitch channel. You can find me doing wrestling and movie trivia on Jordan Pierce Owens' channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, and all around the other spaces. Uh, as far as gigs go, you can, you know, you, you can find me. Uh, you know, to just hit me up on, on, on you know, Richie Goodacre. I will try to update that more, more. But, you know, I've got quite a few things coming up, including the stuff in Toowoomba soon. Yes, I, I look, I'm, I'm I'm going all the way there because I need my entertainment. So you've, you've really made it if you're going to Toowoomba. That's like the Mecca. That is the Mecca. That is, yeah. That is, uh, I, don't know if I don't know if it's the Mecca, but I'll be... I'll be stopping by some Maccas. Mm-hmm. That's a... What 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 is Maccas? You say, Richie, for our international audience. Uh, it's McDonald's that we call it Maccas so much so that it's literally just. I think I think we, we've just re, re, literally renamed it Maccas. It was just called Maccas. <laughs> uh, they call it Mickey D's in America, I think, don't they? Mickey D's, yes, mm. yeah, and then. UK, they just call it McDonald's because it's one of the how boring. Yeah. <laughs> and... All right, Richie, you're not wearing a shirt 
of a wrestler this uh, week. I'm wearing a shirt, yeah. Yeah, but not oh. of a wrestler. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so because this was a rather sexy film, I'd like you to sign off in your best sexy voice. Okay, okay. I don't know if you're ready for this. Nobody's ready for this, but uh, bring it on. Okay. Until next time. Oh, crumpet, crumpet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was my safe word. Anyway. Larry <laughs> uh, <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> Whoa. the new Pirate Booties hostess. Hey, Hi. Just don't listen to any one of them about anything. My aunt died. <gasps> oh my oh God. God. Did your aunt die in the house? No, she lived there with someone who died a long time ago. Oh. Hey, you guys should stay there this summer with me. It'll be fun. Oh. My God, so cute! <gasps> I totally read this somewhere. They call it like <gasps> paranormal passion. Spectrophilia. People who have sex with gods. <laughs> oh, I want paranormal passion. <laughs> What you doing? I got a transphobic ghost who doesn't know a good thing when he sees it. I have a date tonight. What? He's cheating on our ghost. What's gonna happen when it finds out? It loves us. Yeah, it would never hurt us. You're leaving? I don't know anybody who'd want to stay here.